What's up Spanks? Welcome to another fishing adventure with Trout Spankins. Today I am going to be surf casting top water for striped bass at a new location I have never been to before. Never been to before, never fished at before, never even seen before in my life. It's a pretty cool looking spot. I don't know if it's going to be productive, but it looks juicy. Lots of rocks. Nice lighthouse. The main point of a big harbor, so it could be good. Uh, it's supposed to be high tide here at 1. It's 12.30 now, so I'll fish the last half hour of the incoming tide, or maybe the first hour or two of the outgoing tide, but as you saw in the last video, fishing for topwater stripers, I was a little underpowered with the 7 foot saltwater experience rod, so I'm going to be testing out a new setup today too. It's a nine foot medium custom rod that Papa Spankins built himself. I don't know the line weight and the lure weight of it, but I'm gonna be using 30 pound braid with a 110 pound crock barrel swivel connected to a 30 pound monofilament leader with a 75 pound tactical angler's safety clip. And then I'm gonna be throwing top water plugs. Got a couple of new ones I might try out today. I got one that is actually a freshwater plug that I made some modifications do so I can use it in salt water. We'll talk about that when and if I use it. We'll see what happens. I don't want to do too much blabbing because I want to catch some fish and I want to do it before the place gets crowded. Once again, never fished here. I have no idea what it's like here, so I'm kind of working on a whim here. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. New Daiwa BG 5000 reel. Got it spooled up with 30 pound. The Power Pro? Yeah, it's Power Pro. Gonna be trying a new top water lure. This is the Talking Popper XD by Tsunami, green mackerel color. One of John Skinner's favorite um, top water plugs for stripers and bluefish, so good enough for him should be good enough for me. Yeah, this is probably one of the best uh, green mackerel paint jobs I've seen on a top water. Looks good. Yeah, give it a try. Got the bobs on it pinched, so it'll be easier to unhook. Oh shit, I should have taken the split ring off. Got my split ring pliers. Where did I drop them? Uh, Sorry, I'm like using you guys as an ashtray right now. Split ring off. I already got a safety clip, so I don't need the split ring. Looks good though. Single hook in the back with a little white bucktail. Oh, look at that. As soon as I walk up, this little bait's jumping. First cast with the new setup and the new papa. See what happens. See what crappens. Hopefully this uh, bigger rod will be easier to pin and keep the bigger ones hooked. Have to see what happens. Then cast a mile. All right, here's the lure I modified. This is actually a freshwater plug. This is the Six Sense Mag Dog 150 freshwater. Uh, I switched the hooks out for some BMC saltwater hooks. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the action. We'll find out right now. It probably will because the hooks are like 0.3 grams heavier than the ones I took off. Let's see if the hook chain affected the action at all. Moves pretty dang good. Hey, look at that. I made modifications without messing the lure up. That works pretty dang good. I just hope it holds up the saltwater fish. I mean, I know the hooks will hold up. I don't know about the lure though. They might snap that thing in half. Looks good though. Dang, it looks good. Shit though for fishing.
All right, Spanx, so the new gear and the new Lua modifications didn't work out so well in a new location. So now I'm hoping that the new gear and the new Lua will work out in an old location. I fished at that spot for about an hour and a half, saw 10 other people fish. I didn't get a bite, nobody else caught anything. So I decided to come to the local beach down the street from my house, because I knew the tide was gonna be good around the time I'd be getting here. And I do wanna test out that new setup and see if I can hook fish better when they're deep and keep them pinned better. I know there's usually fish out here. They're not big. They're, I've never caught a keeper out here. Never even heard of anyone catching a keeper, but at least I can test out the gear and maybe catch, you know, an upper class schoolie. See what happens. All right. Try down here. I want to catch a fish on this new, new setup. Dunk. Using the modified freshwater mag dog. Oh, that looks good. That looks good in calm water. Oh, look at that. Got friggin' ham bones first cast. <laughs> Must look pretty good. I missed it. Him. I missed it. Him. New setup, and I'm still missing fish. The hope is that if I hook a big one, I can keep it pinned. Oh, howdy. How you doodles? Ooh, it seems like a decent one. Got him on that modified freshwater plug. Oh yeah, it's a much better fish than I've been catching. This is the class that I've been losing. All right, boys, look at that. Boom. Nice striper on the modified Mag Dog 150. Not a keeper, but one of the bigger schoolies I've caught this year. Nice striper. Not keeper, but it's getting close. Might have been the same fish. Well, if I can kind of doubt it. Nope, because there's another one. It's a little bit smaller. Just shake the hook off. You're barely hooked, dude. Grab the pliers and I'll unhook them in the water. Get you on camera. Oh, I'd say that this modification's working pretty damn good. Didn't lose any action. And my only concern is that this freshwater plug's not gonna hold up the saltwater fish. It's gonna get destroyed, especially if I start catching bluefish. Oh, another one, there we go. That's definitely a lot easier to hook them and keep them pinned with this rod. That one's small. He's like, screw you, don't. Talk shit about me. Oh, there you go. So we're three out of four with this new rod and the new lure with the modifications. It's pretty good. Missed the first one, caught the next three in a row. Probably missed the next one just for running my mouth, but. Oh, it still floats nose up like it's supposed to. That is, that is a thing of beauty right there. I am not one to make lure modifications, so to have it turn out good, it's very nice. Lure seems to be holding up. Friggin' casts a mile. Oh, something just tried to hit it. Oh, right there. Right frickin' there, come on. Oh, shit, I'm bad. 
Oh, he didn't get the hooks, so he might hit it again. There we go, got him that time. Feels like a decent one. Oh, the whole school fall on him. Stripe up. Thought it might have been a blue the way he was fighting. Oh, that's another pretty decent one. Once again, not a keeper, but on the larger scale than I've been catching. Boom. Another decent one. On the modified Mag Dog 150. Oh, it appears I did uh, pinch the barbs, which is good. Let it sit for a little bit. Retrieve it slow. Oh, shit. Just got fing tapped. Oh shit, I didn't even see that one hit it. That might be a big one. Oh, he just grabbed the tail. Nah, he just grabbed the tail hook and pulled it under. That's the fifth one of the day. Fifth one of the friggin' half an hour. Shoot, we've only been here not that long. Probably one of the smallest ones, but it's a pish. It's a pish. Oh, look at that. See? Come on, man. Just work with me. Let it sit for about five to ten seconds, then start retrieving slow. Walking the dog. Just like you would with a spook or a pencil pop or whatever. This one you can walk a lot slower, though. Friggin' hammer it. Could probably use this at the canal, dude. Slack tide. We'll friggin' destroy this thing. Nope. Oh, something just hit it. Oh, shit the bed. There we go. Another one. That's what I'm talking about, boy. That's what I'm talking about, son. I don't know if you guys can see these blow ups. They're hitting kind of far out there, but. They're smashing it. They are smashing it. Huh? That's a medium sized one. Don't, 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 don't. Don't do a spinneroony, please. You're not Booker T. This isn't the 80s WWE. Quit spinning around like that, please, so I can unhook you and we can both go upon our merry little way. Oh, you think I had him too. All right. Another, oh, he, he almost gave me the hooks. Oh, we got a little bit of sea lice on him. There you go. It's like number six. Six for eight right now. I've had eight hits and caught six. So that's a pretty, pretty good deal. I wonder if I should w walk down the beach. I mean, if I'm gonna keep catching them here, what's the point of moving? Usually not a good idea to leave fish to find fish. That's how you end up ruining a good afternoon. Oh, something's after it. Something is after it. Speed up the retrieve, maybe? Oh. He's still hitting at it. Being very passive <laughs> about it. Ah, crap, I lost them. So like, not only does this modified lure works, but it is like the absolute friggin' juice. <laughs> like the hammer in the friggin' thing. Well, maybe I'll try moving now that I'm not getting anything else. Okay. I think moving might be the deal now. Oh. Okay. It's a 
like a fish. Just got stuck. Whew. That is a pretty decent one on the modified top water. Not going to be big enough to measure, but pretty decent one. Oops. He's good to go. Oh, damn. That one freaking walloped it. That was a hell of a one to miss. Oh. oh, just got a hit. I was afraid he was going to tangle me in that freaking rock. Whew. That was a little spooky. Right. Quit clacking my lure against the rocks. It's expensive. Open your friggin' mouth, dude. Come on, man. Dude, this guy does not want to open his mouth. What the frig? Of course, now he friggin' wants to open it. You fucking dick. God damn, boy. Let go of the hook. <laughs> like, you're not even hooked that bad. <sighs> Jesus. Making it way more difficult than it needs to be. All right, cool deal. Oh, something just friggin' swirled at it. Might have, oh, it might have taken it under too. Shoot. Oh, it's still following it. Oh, look, that one swirled right there. There's a couple fish over here. There we go. He kind of pecked at it and missed it at first and then came back and hit it again. Try to get him away from that rock. That's another not terrible sized one still not big enough to measure but it's good fish see a uh, good little fish on the modified plug not terrible not bad not bad at all definitely the best day of fishing i've ever had down here never caught more than three i think we're up to eight now Definitely helps to have this longer, heavier rod. Oh, something just swirled at it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Little dude, but it's another fish. Cool. Little duder. 
still pretty cool. Nice little dude on the old modified Mag Dog 150. Smoked it. I wasn't even paying attention. Shoot. Oh, got one. Got one. Let's see if I can keep him ten. He didn't really take it all the way. It's not a very big one. But the fish. Tiny dude on the modified plug. It's probably the smallest one of the day. Look at the sea lice on them. Crawling around all creepy like. Yeah. Pretty cool deal though. Definitely a much better hookup ratio with this um, longer and stouter rod. All right, Spanx, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and think about subscribing. Overall, pretty good afternoon testing out some new gear. The hookup ratio with this nine foot medium custom rod that Papa Spankins put together has a much better hookup ratio. I got a 5,000 Daiwa BG on there that I just bought brand new. Got it spooled up with 30 pound braid. Running 30 pound braid to a 150 pound barrel swivel. Had a about two foot liter of 50 pound monofilament connected to a tactical angler's speed clip. That heavier gear, definitely the deal. Much easier to hook the fish, much easier to keep them pinned. But the best part was, the best part is, I was catching them on this freshwater walking bait from Six Cents. This is the Mag Dog 150 freshwater. I upgraded the uh, split rings, threw some VMC treble hooks on there with a wider gap, and man, they were friggin' nailing that thing. I don't usually do too much tinkering when it comes to lures, so it felt pretty good to catch saltwater striped bass on a freshwater lure that I modified into a saltwater lure. They actually make this lure in saltwater. It's smaller, and it has a much smaller gap hook. That's what I was using on the seven foot rod, and it was a lot harder to keep those fish pinned with that smaller version. So it was kind of crappy going to a new spot and not being successful, but at least I came down to a familiar spot, got to test out some new gear, had the best day of striper fishing I've ever had off this beach. I caught, I don't know, a bunch and probably some of the biggest ones I've ever caught off this beach too. So maybe the problem was I just didn't have the right gear for it. Anyways, Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you on the next one. Keep on spanking.